Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Frank. If you're new, drop a subscribe down below and you may see something that surprises you. Fabianski has been transferred to Inter Milan. And it's about time we get this episode underway, don't you think? I'll see everybody out there. Just wanted to stop in right before we hopped into the match. Just wanted to do the right thing and look over the team. Now, I see a Rojo here. Great player. Center back, 89. I'm seeing this guy right here. I'm not too sure on his pronunciation just yet, but we're going to get down 86 center back. I'm not too sure over the right, right wing back, 84. He looks pretty good. Has that special something, this striker right here. Too bad I'm coming in to replace him. Looks like Onana is the keeper, and we're going to have to replace him because... That's just me keeping it a buck. I don't think he's good enough right now for the Champions League. 84, but I mean, Onana is a good player. He probably has some abilities. Yeah, look at him. Beast of a keeper. Rushes out of goal, comes for crosses, and saves with feet. If he can keep this back line picture perfect and save a bunch of goals, I think he might have that re-up on the contract. I'll see everybody out there on the pitch, officially this time. A huge celebration outside. Very joyous. It's the first match of the season. Fabianski finally made the long-awaited move to Italy. I'm very excited to play against these teams because I know the Italian league definitely does not slouch when it comes to defense. I like these kits right here, bright and yellow. Didn't even know they had these. Let's see how this one turns out for Liverpool. Inter Milan already on the attack. A good pass inside. And just like that, within four minutes of getting on the pitch, Fabianski with his first impact in Italy. It's an assist for the number nine, actually. Actually, number eight there. He's one of the best players on the team. T. Lemon. I think he was 86, maybe 87. A great pass here from Fabianski. Just going to slow play it. And I mean, the movement in the box was picture perfect. And honestly, I don't think this team that we're playing against is the greatest. I mean, that shot was pretty easy and that goal was even easier. Great time pass there. Fiera looking to make a move. I swear, he's always following us wherever we go. What's up with my teammates? Can they make a pass? Yep, come on, 29. I don't know your name just yet, but if you can make a good pass, I'll learn it. I gotta learn his name. That was too easy. I did not call for the ball there. That's IQ and awareness from the, the teammate there. A lot of new faces for Fabianski to remember and for me to remember, and as well as everybody out there supporting the channel. I mean, new team comes with new faces. But the pace never changes for Fabianski. Still running on it. Crushes it with his weak foot. That ball is pretty shiny. And it was a great time finish. Look at a bottom left pocket. They're going to play it. But it seems like they've been playing pretty good defense so far. Yep. Great defensive play. Hey. Lost him. I'm looking inside now. He passed me the ball before. Hopefully I can get him an assist. Easy. Or excuse me. Hopefully I can get him a goal. And what Fabianski does makes it look easy. Within 24 minutes, I'm pretty sure that's two assists and one goal within 24 minutes. This might not be the best team, but, I mean, was he doing that in the Premier League? I don't know. This team right here that we're on is pretty explosive. It's got to be a perfect pass, and it is out to Fernandez. Into Fiera. It's a great pass, and thankfully, wow. That was an athletic finish. And, I mean, let's be real, though. Let's be real. If we had a four-back in the back, I think a right back would have cleaned that up pretty easily, but I'm not too worried about it because the center back right there, Arojo, that was great defense. It just wasn't the greatest turn of events for us. Let's see that one again. Boom! He got all the way to the ball. Or that might have been Onana actually saving that one. Let's see. Whew! Ivan, a great shot there. Jumping over the top of his head. Athletic finish. I like to see that. Great defensive play, set it all up. Now Fabianzi can't choke this one. This is the man that defended him earlier. And who would Fabianski be if he didn't lose the keeper? I swear, it's getting way too easy. I cannot wait for him to be a gaffer, a manager, whatever you want to call him, a coach. But he's going to be a great one. He has so much skill, so much technical prowess and poise. Let's see that one again. Running into the box, the keeper has no idea what to do. Just a quick movement, shake of the hips. Keeping the ball nice and low. Actually didn't even leave the ground. A beautiful strike. An even better move. Not sure who the coach is, but he looks ecstatic. Now Fabianzi looking to slow it down. He's working now. Woo, quick pass, but perfectly defended there from the number 10. Believe it or not. Yeah, we're in Italy. The number 10 plays defense too. 
Looks like the ball is now on a move. It's night and day from that Liverpool team. Hey, good defense. We're going to turn this one up. I'm going to get a goal from this one right here. Pretty confident. We're starting to move the ball up now. It's a cheeky pass from Fabianski and a wide open man running all the way up to the outside. It's a Nigerian. A pass inside the number 22. And what do you know? If that pass isn't played perfectly from Fabianski, who knows if that one is a goal. I mean, it probably would have been just looking at the result from today. It's 5-1 at the moment. Oof, a brutal, brutal victory for us today. And a greatly timed pass. And wow, jumping up, athletic one-time pass. Excuse me, a one-time shot here. And crushed. Little roller right past the keeper. That must be his weak area right now because he's been beat twice with a low pass or a low um low shot they're looking to make a quick attack i think arrojo is going to clean that one up housekeeping calls it can barely fit all the goals on the scoreboard and honestly i love this move to italy hopefully everybody's enjoying it it's night and day and fabianski is back to winning ways i'll see everybody on the pitch in the next match we are live at the san siro and look at that. They pulling in players. Florian Wutz. I'm pretty sure he's German. And I know that W is pronounced as a V. Beautiful player with great talent. I'm hoping he can come on the pitch and play some beautiful football. Excuse me, I'm a bit tongue-tied. First home match. I'm very excited. Let's see how it goes. Nothing comes from it. The Nigerian passes up. Now the number eight. What a great pass to Fabianski. Rocking 27 on his back. Let me know about an inter legend who rocks number 27. Whoop! Easy. It's like, do I shoot it? Do I shoot it? You know what? It's too late. Let's pass it. This is the best team Fabianski's been on. Maybe that Real Madrid team he was on in when he was like 19 years old. That was the real deal prime. That was a really good team as well. But this team might be leagues above it. Let's see this one again. Fabianski in his prime, of course. Quick pass inside. And this dude right here is never going to bottle a finish. I know that. Jorginho. Jo maybe it's Jorginho. Like, I don't know if you had to pronounce the G a bit more. But Jorginho. So I'm going to go with Routier. Jorginho Routier. I don't think it's Rudder. That sounds a bit foolish to say. That sounds too American. Wurtz gets on it. And it's in. Oh, what a strike. What a strike. I think that was the end of the half. Last kick of the first half. And Florian Wurtz, his first match on the pitch. And he's already scoring goals. One like this. But one of the Champions League. We're winning the Champions League. Let's take another look at that one. Ball perfectly played inside. And whoo! That's one of them shots that's going to be really tough to get your hands on. It's a curling ball. Curling shot. Oh, it was deflected actually. Off the head. <laughs> of the center back right there. That was pretty funny, actually. But, I mean, I love that finish. It might have been a goal, even if it wasn't deflected. Ooh, ooh. Oh, beautiful. A lot of praising I was doing. I was saying they're never going to beat us, but wow. That right there was some skill. Barely kept it in play. And this dude did a one, two, three touch in the air. That was a beautiful finish. Very poised finish. Might I say world class. Wow. An unexpected goal by the number seven. Honestly, I did not expect that one. And that's coming from me. I mean, the team obviously didn't expect it, but... <laughs> Wow, I'm not going to say I'm disappointed, but we got to pick it up. Who are we talking about we? Just Fabianski. Oh. Wow, okay. Looks like they're going to pull him off the pitch. He only got one shot on target today and an assist, but I guess that's all the gaffer wanted to see from him on the pitch. Fabianski gets pulled. It's 2-2. Hopefully, we get this win. Jorginho. I'm telling you, that dude is the future of this team. I don't know how old he is, but he plays like he's in his prime. 
Wow. It is a cutthroat world that we are living in. Jorginho Routier sent off to Nottingham Forest. 81.5. I definitely think that's a lot, but maybe he should have been worth 100 million. 25 years old. Maybe he's past his prime. Maybe the gaffer knows something that we don't. But man, he had that game winning goal. What are we doing? We're just giving out the best players. Hopefully, we don't let nobody from the defense go. I know I saw some things, some chat in the uh, transfer window rumors. And if anything else happens, I'll be sure to update everybody. Let's get it. It's time for another match. Looks like Bologna. FC. Pretty sure that's what they go by. Decided to get the number 27 for their team. And of course, you know, Rocky number 27 for Inter Milan. It's James Fabianski. He's been tearing it up. Been tearing it up. Italy is definitely the place for him. Might be a forever home. I'm getting a little sick and tired of transferring every transfer window. So I think I'm going to stick this one out. And I think we're going to stick around until we're trash. Ball's played outside from Fabianski. Guess it's the number nine, but I'm not really liking that pass. This is the new man. Can't guard him. Woo! That was good defense. I didn't know he was the center back. It's going to be a good matchup. Hey, there it is. Yeah, but I can't even keep it with Fabianski. Fouling a man. Easy. Thank you. I was very confident in my fellow Nigerian in hitting that one. Oh, he's soaking it in. I think it's his first goal of the season. Yo, what are these kits right here? Like a world kit? I like these right here. These are pretty fire. These are pretty fire. It's like the whole globe on a, on a kit. Which is the perfect kit to be wearing, honestly, because I got a lot of supporters in a lot of different countries. So drop your country right now where you're watching in the comments. Don't tell me exactly where you live in because I don't want your information out there, though. You know what I'm saying? Just keep it as vague as possible. Ball played inside, and it's perfectly shot. What a strike. The number nine shot that one through his legs. Let's take another look at that one. Nicholas Jackson. He must be an American. Nicholas Jackson? Bro, that's an American name. And Fabianza getting snatched off the pitch once again, and hopefully we can get this win. Ah, what do you know? The Nigerian comes in and finishes the match for us. Wow, look at that. Of course he comes back. Is that Diego Jota? That's not his name. I think his name is Jao Felix. And it looks like he came back from Liverpool, I think he's at. But what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another match here in this episode. I think this might be our last one. I want this one to be a little bit quicker because it is his first showing for the team hopefully this one goes well in the champions league it feels good to be back and hopefully i can bring some big time moments for everybody in attendance viewing and supporting the channel oh fabianski using the pace he's gone he's gone if you see him running away from you that's how you know it's too late got him only way he could go was the near post and I mean, that keeper was pretty adventurous. Next time he does that, I'm chipping it. Best believe me, we haven't got a chip goal yet. And that's one of my favorites to go for. But let's take another look. Fabianski beats the center back. Number five there, bad angle taken. And a perfectly struck ball to the near post. I mean, that, that far post shot probably would have got blocked up. And the ball drops in the back of the net for James Fabianski. Once again, shakes the shoulders a little bit. Showcases why. You don't got to speak Italian to play for an Italian team and dominate. This is looking good here. Oh! And Leti Call Madrid will always have a say in the match. Best believe me. I feel like their coach, their gaffer, he has them set up to be attack, attack, attack. Pretty sure Jao Felix set that one up. Does play a false nine in this formation, I'm pretty sure. Let's see that one again. Look who it is. Jao Felix, wow. I'm telling you, he could pass that ball through a, a, a tight, tight margin. And of course, he can finish the ball, and he has pretty good skills as well. I would like to have him on the team. Ooh, that was a beautiful pass. The ball still in 19's boot, and it's out. I'm telling you, this is ultimate difficulty, bro. Like these, uh-oh. Made a mistake. 18 couldn't keep up. Luckily, I got kind of... Kind of scared there. I was gonna let that ball get turned over, but 
Fabianski just too strong. And he's doing a core workout on the pitch. Not even impressed with the defense that was played. Ran right through it. Picked the ball up. Let's see that one again. I think he finished that one with his left boot. Of course he did. It's his wonder boot. Should have ensured it. Nice and easy. 2-1 for Inter Milan. Uh-oh, they're on the attack now and a great shot. Oh, not not oh, with an amazing save, thankfully. Yup. Yup. Use that pace, Fabianski. Slow down. Get right by him. You have to on this one. You have to get by him. And he does. Oh, stops it on a dime. Looking for a pass inside. It's perfectly played. And that's what greatness looks like. Even when you're not the one to score the goal or get the assist. You're still giving credit for that goal. He was working. Fabianski was working. And I got to see his last name again. I'm not going to call him Chuck. Because that's got to be the most, least Nigerian name ever. <laughs> oh, but a beautiful stop on the dot from Fabianski. Passes inside. Number 21. Definitely gets on it there with an easy finish. The gaffer looks extremely elated. It might be all she wrote. And that's all she wrote. I think they should have let him keep playing on that. And Chuck Weze, I think his name is Chuck Wu, Chuck Weze. <laughs> I got to get that down, man. I'll see everybody back at the main menu. It's an amazing match for Fabianski in his first Champions League debut for an, an Italian team, excuse me, and his Inter Milan debut. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like down below. Those that made it to the end, I'm talking to you right now. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. I mean, we're about to be at 350, and after 350, it's going to be 400. I get this one step closer to five, and that means we're halfway to 1,000. That's just the way you got to look at it. Everything's going to fall into place. I believe it, even in your lives. Just keep focused. Keep grinding. If you have a goal that you want to do, stay disciplined on it. Usually I don't say this, but I'm feeling pretty inspired today. It's about to be Friday, tomorrow. Hopefully you enjoy your Friday. I'll be linking all the previous videos at the very end of this one. I know the intro is a little long, but it's appreciated if it's appreciated. You can skip to the very end if you want to. Nobody's saying you got to stay here. But thank you for watching. It's been Frank on the Pitch with James Fabianski. And everybody stay safe.